Hello everybody and welcome to Jim Games. I'm doing this new thing now on No Man's Sky called Ship Breakdown. Yeah, this is where I upgrade a ship slightly, okay, with the pulse engines using my own parts. Pulse engines only, so I'm not going to jump to a new system. I will go down to the planet and test its manoeuvrability, right, and its pulse engine capabilities. Currently I'm doing a four box hauler, which is the biggest ship in the game. This is from wing to wing, not from nose to, to a tail, wing to wing, okay? What I'm going to do here is, it comes in a B class, okay? I'm going to get this ship and turn it into an S class, and then I'll put those parts in for the pulse engine, okay? That'll be coming up really, really soon. See, these are my parts here now, okay? So I'm going to go off camera now, and I'm going to completely do the augmentation and everything else. Are you ready? Right, welcome back. Now then, I've done all the storage augmentation, upgraded it to S-Class. Now I'm going to put the S-Class parts in. Okay, see, I've got all the storage augmentation in that we need. I do apologise if you heard that in the background. I live right next to a train train station. Bet you didn't know that, did you, folks? <laughs> uh, Thomas the Tank Engine doesn't live there, by the way. So I'm putting all the, the parts in. Okay, in the supercharged slots, which is taking it up to 1500, I believe, on a hauler. So it'll maneuver quite well. Remember, haulers are a sod to turn. They're not very good to turn, they're not very nimble ships. I'm making this hauler nimble, okay? You've got to do, because this is the biggest ship in No Man's Sky. In width, in width, before somebody corrects me, okay? Now then, there we go. Now let's have a look at the actual thing. It's 1,500, get curse away, and 1,554. That's it, 1,554 in pulse and manoeuvrability. Okay, now we're going to have a look inside the cockpit. This is the cockpit view. See what it's like inside the ship. Okay, this is a hauler. Most haulers are like this, right? They're really big inside and they're awesome. Okay, this is a horror. Let's get back into the external view now. We're going to do a bit of test. What we'll do is I'm going to do an on-planet test. I'm going to do it flying over the top of the planet to see how well it manoeuvres. Because remember, this is a big-ass ship. So we're testing the pulse engine to go down to the planet. How fast is the pulse engine? Right, let's try it. There we go. So it's pretty quick regarding pulse engines. Isn't it, folks? Let's take it down to the planet now, and let's get a bit of a bit of a fly round. When I'm flying down here, because I've already made the video, we come across an archive. It's an awesome archive. It's a red one. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Yeah, cool red archive. That's awesome, that isn't it? Okay, it's my favourite number as well. I'm my favourite number is number seven. Now then, it's still hard to turn. Like on a fighter, you turn perfectly round there. This you have to stop it and then boost and stop and boost to get around a corner because it's a hauler and it's a really big hauler. Now then, if we're finished with this archive now, right, we're going to take it up into space. Okay, this great big thing. It's huge, isn't it? And we're going to go into the space anomaly and check it out. Okay, come on, Jim. Stop flying over the top of the, uh, the landscape and let's go into space. Yeah. Well, what I'm going to do now is, I know I go into the galaxy map. You'll see me go into the galaxy map, but that's a button, wrong button press, right? This is because I was playing Starfield, and you get mixed up with the buttons. Uh, anyway, let's <laughs> let's go into the space anomaly, right? So we're going to see how big this ship is compared to the other ships, okay? And see if anybody stands to have a look at it, because some people admire all the ships that come into the space anomaly. So I'm strutting my stuff with a huge hauler. Yeah, a huge hauler. Yeah, the biggest one in the game. Oh, flicker in, bugging out, it's Xbox. Do apologise, folks, it is Xbox, right? Yeah, hello games, never fix Xbox. They fix everybody else but Xbox. Anyway, let's go into camera mode and have a look. Yeah, it's a big ass ship, isn't it, this? Awesome. So if you want the type of ship... It's going to carry a lot of product, okay? Get you from A to B. They've got awesome shields. The weapons are awesome on them too, right? 
Yeah, the shields and the hyperdrive are good for haulers. Okay, and you can upgrade the pulse engines to a decent amount. Yeah, I like them, me. You can run right across. If you've got friends coming in, you can get all your friends to stand on top of them boxes. Yeah, big ship. Big ass ship. One of the biggest ships in the game. If the biggest ship in the game. Anyway, here are the portal glyphs. I found this in the Euclid Galaxy. Right? In normal mode, but you can find it, excuse me, in all modes. Right? They're up at the top of the screen. And I'm wondering what Jim's doing now. Am I going to the space station? Right? <laughs> yeah. There we go. Let's get to that space station. Get landing in the space station. Portal glyphs are still at the top. Right? You can see the pulse engine's really quick in haulers. Yeah. And it's cool to have the biggest one in the game. You know? It is. Cool to have a massive ship. Yeah. It reminds me of being Han Solo. Anyway. I don't know why it just does. Anyway, that's a ship breakdown, right? Hope you liked it, folks. Um, I'm giving you the portal glyphs, and I shall see you in the next video. Chatty bye.